Hello everybody, welcome to incredible world of NFTs. This is Eli from Chainlink Labs and today in this tutorial you will learn how to create and sell your own NFTs. Cool huh? Let's get started! We should start with the definition of NFT. What is an NFT actually? NFT is a token that is non-fungible. This means they are starkly unique from each other. It means also one token isn't interchangeable with any other token of its class. You can say that NFTs are essentially digital certificates on a blockchain that prove you own something unique in the digital world. They can be anything digital, like an artwork, like a video, a special video game item, or a rare digital trading card. Each one is very special and can't be replaced by anything else. If you would like to read our blog post on this, please visit our website, blog.chain.link. Just like most digital coins follow a common rulebook called the ERC-20 standard, NFTs usually follow a set of rules known as the ERC-721 standard. This is like a template for creating NFTs and telling them how to interact with other digital contracts and users. They link an address to a balance, showing how much each address holds. If you have 100 tokens, that's what the system records actually, no matter which tokens they are. ERC721 is different. They assign a unique ID to each token, making each one different. This ID tracks who owns which specific unique token like a unique digital collectible. The ERC721 standard made it easier and faster to create and launch new NFTs. And you know what? It also helped in setting up online marketplaces like Rarible, OpenSea, and SuperRare. These marketplaces are very special websites where people can list, buy, and sell their unique digital items. Besides ERC721, there are other standards that offer more flexibility, such as ERC1155. You can visit our blog post called what are token standards to learn more information? And now, my dear NFT friends, time to create an NFT. You will need a digital wallet. But what exactly is a digital wallet? Aha! <laughs> This is a wallet. It stores digital currencies and assets like NFTs securely online. This is your personal gateway to buying, selling, and managing digital items. This is empty one. There are a few good ones out there like MetaMask, like Coinbase Wallet and Trust Wallets, etc, etc, etc. You should choose one of the wallets. Today, I'm gonna use MetaMask, but you can also choose any of them. It is entirely your decision. My friends, start by opening your browsers and going to MetaMask official website. This is important to use the official website to avoid any scams or fake versions. Click on the install button and please follow my steps. Just copy me. Add MetaMask to your browser. If you're following my steps, we need to see the folks here. Please click get started. For a new wallet, click create a wallet, agree to terms and pick a strong password. You don't want to be hacked, right? After setting your password, you will be giving a secret recovery phrase. This is also important for your account security and recovery. Write it down and keep it somewhere safe and private. This is a secret between us, okay? And please, please, please never share this phrase with anyone. Next, you will need to prove you have written down your recovery phrase by picking the words in the right order. This checks that you have your phrase done correctly. Okay? And congratulations! Your wallet is ready. After confirming your recovery phrase, your MetaMask wallet is set up and ready to use. You can now start exploring the world of NFTs and cryptocurrencies with this person. What you see here is our wallet address. You will need to copy this address to make transactions. When we click on account one, you can see our wallet details. You can also add another wallet address or an add an existing wallet you already have. Clicking on Ethereum mainnet shows us which network we are on. You will also see test networks like Goeli and Sepolia here. Actually, we need testnet tokens to make transactions. I will guide you to a website where you can access Chainlink's faucets. Faucets that chain that link. As you can see on the screen, these faucets provide free testnet tokens. 
but to access them you will need a github account mm, don't worry if you don't have one we have another alternative way for you now i am going to the chainlist website first and connect my wallet to the polygon testnet as you can see, it's asking if I want to switch to the Polygon network. I accept and continue. And as you can see on the screen again, it says you have switched to Mumbai. An important detail to know here is that we will be using Matic tokens on this network. Now that I have connected my wallet to Mumbai, I need to get some Polygon Mumbai faucet tokens to start my testnet transactions. You can follow my steps here. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. Please, please, please copy your MetaMask address into the enter your wallet address field. Then we copied our address and passed it here as well. Just copy me. Please click this send me magic button and wait. Meanwhile, if you want to see and track the test tokens you received, you can do this on Polygon scan. It shows how much Matic token was sent from which address to which address. Let's check it out. And as you can see here, they sent us 0.2 Matic token. Now everything is great. Let's go back to our MetaMask address and refresh the screen, please. We can now see our Matic tokens. Congratulations! We need to head over to Rarible.com. As I mentioned before, Rarible is one of the NFT marketplaces. You can choose any other marketplace if you prefer, actually. This choice is entirely up to you. This is a marketplace you can find many collections and NFTs here. This is one of the best places to buy, sell, list or manage NFTs. Anyway, here you can see the features and properties of the NFT. When you click on the explore button, you can also see details like users, NFTs and blockchain. Now it is time to create and share our NFT. The most fun part, I promise. For this, we need to visit the website testnet.readable.com. I'm showing you an example right now. So we are doing everything on the testnet. This takes a bit of time, so please don't go anywhere. We are now connecting our MetaMask address, which we created earlier, to the testnet. This is important to know that we should select the Polygon network instead of Ethereum because we are conducting transactions on the Polygon network here. You will see a switch network alert. We're almost there. We share our name and email address here. And again, I agree to the terms of service. And now we continue. That's it. As you can see here, we have connected our wallet to the variable test network. <laughs> Click on the create button you see on the screen. So we can start creating our NFT. We need to select the Polygon network, but keep in mind again, if you want to operate on different blockchains, you might need different tokens and thus you can choose a different blockchain at this stage. There's a choose type option you can see here where Rarible asks us what kind of NFT we want to create. I choose single. Oh my God, yes, it is time to create an NFT, really. Now, this part is important because if you want to turn a photo you already have into an NFT, you need to upload the image here. First, access the photos on your computer by clicking on the Choose tab. Today, actually, I want to turn a picture of a chick created by AI into an NFT. Here, you can see my little and big ducks. I'm preparing a collection right now. I have uploaded my little chick and as you can see I need to enter a price value here. I'm setting a price value now. You can write less or more for this value. I need to fill in details for my collection like the name, properties, symbol. In the description section I will write I love chicks and there we have it. Now I'm reconnecting to my MetaMask. As you can see here I'm choosing to pay with Matic and confirming this transaction. This process takes a little bit of time and the transaction has been sent. We have made the payment. Let's continue. I'm going to add another check to my collection and I have edited it. In the description, I will write, this is a test token. You can change it. I'm adding properties, including size. And of course, I'm adding a price again. After adding the price, what is next? Now we are seeing our NFT on Rarible. There's a cute chick in front of us. <laughs> if you need more explanation or information, don't hesitate to reach out to us because we are here to help. Okay, our NFT is ready. Yes, that's it. 
Today, we started exploring the wonderful world of NFTs and blockchain. Would you like to learn more and improve yourself in blockchain development? I have great news for you. Chaining Developer Hub is your personal guide to the world of blockchain. Dev.chain.link. It's full of resources to help you start creating and exploring on your own. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember, this journey is just the beginning. And I am so excited to see where it takes you, everybody. See you next time.